Hey guys, Lumen Zero Two. We're gonna be playing this monstrosity that you have in front of you, which is a Lich Ball deck. Um, so it wins through two ways. It can either mirror universe someone out with Lich because you're generally a zero or negative life total, um, or it can use Dark Heart of the Wood, which also draws you cards with Lich, um, and Fireball and Channel to win the game. So it's kind of like a bad combo deck. I'm playing a game against a fellow named Barking Dog, who I guess got turned out of the format through my channel, which is really cool, and I appreciate you watching, man. Um, so I'm going to challenge him. Um, yes, I wasn't freeform, buddy, but I'll play in Vintage. Um, this way we're not going to have mines. This deck is actually fine because it doesn't run any strip mines at all, which could be a mistake, but the mana requirements of a five-color combo deck <laughs> are, are pretty high, and it runs a lot of lands because this deck was built to be played in, um, in EC, under EC rules. Um, so let's find this damn thing. Where are you at, buddy? Probably going to be down here somewhere. There, that's Earn Geddon. Um, where are you at, Lich Ball? Oh, did I transition you over? Vintage, okay. Yep, and then it should be... Oh, it's illegal. Why is it illegal? Why can this deck not be played? Oh, it's got 16 cards in the sideboard. Well, no shit. <laughs> um, we'll cut Hercules Recall and hope we don't run into, like, Mono Brown Town. Um, I was. Give me one second, buddy. Alright, so, challenge player. Now I have a legal deck. And moto things, right? Um, Lich's Ball. Alright, we're probably going to get crushed. So, one of the things, one of the trends I find with new players in 93, 94 is a lot of times they start off in, like, the best decks. And it's either, like, a confidence thing or, like, they just want to, like, get to know the format with the best deck. Um, and if we're playing against the deck, we're probably just going to get crushed. This hand's bad, but it's kind of the sort of bad that you sign up for when you play this deck, so I'm going to keep this. Oop, return to game. And let's push our opponent fun. Alrighty, so, I expect we are going to get crushed this game. If my mana gets blown up, what mana do I want blown up? Probably, I don't know, it's kind of tough actually. Probably Trop, because I do have a balance in hand, and, and if they're not on like an artifact heavy draw, balance could be randomly good against creatures like Flying Men... Gabos, who knows? I mean, they could be playing anything. White Weenie. All right, it looks like they are playing a blue red deck, which is probably not going to be good for us because they're probably going to have a lot of counter magic, and that's going to tend to be bad against, a, generally speaking, a fairly uninteractive um, combo deck that has a lot of specialty pieces in it. But hopefully, at least in one game, we get to do our thing. Yep, you got it. Okay, Fell War, a stone. Okay, so we don't know if they're playing Jeskai or if they're playing... Alright, they get make green and play a Birds of Paradise. Okay. Well, then. Um, we have the option to do here is just Disenchant. I think I will. I think I'm going to try to set up a balance turn. This gets a card out of my hand. Um, yeah, I'm just going to blow this up, actually. And say go. Another thing we could do is just Fireball the Birds, too. But I think I'm going to look to set up balance. Um, it's possible I even want to regrowth for the disenchant because regrowth without a lot of power cards in the in the bin doesn't add a ton of utility. Obviously, I'd probably probably should see my draws and pass. Okay. Well, there's a card that inspires inspires us to probably go to their upkeep and try to resolve it. I've made my land drop for the turn, and then if it gets countered here, that at a minimum is going to mean that I can regrow the next turn. I'm trying to bait a counter on upkeep. It'll probably get countered, but I think it's still fine. Yep, you got it. Okie doke. And do they send with that? Nope, they do not. Okie doke. They're going to send with this gentleman. I think I'm going to wait on balance here. All right, flash counter is probably not going to be good from what I'm seeing right now. So let's uh, regrowth the ancestral. Yeah, man, or mana vault tends to mean something different. It tends to mean like artifacts and stuff like that. So yeah, I think we're going to try to set up a twister turn uh, with balance and dark ritual. And we may even have Flash Counter up. I, have, I haven't counted my mana yet. My hope is they play like a Triskelion out here. Like, just get their get their whole board. Um, I can go pretty low on cards. I don't. I want them to at least keep one card, so I don't mind discarding the Fireball, but I would like to... Um, 
to at a minimum keep uh, the Time Twister as the last card in my hand after I balance. Okie doke. Well, it looks like their hand is going to be depleted. So maybe, hmm, maybe we are just going for a Twister here. Yeah, if they're playing the Ring out, I think that's probably what we're going to see. Now they can get him for two with the Factory. I'm not really being beaten down that heavily, so I probably don't need to balance. Um, especially if I'm going to be on my fifth land drop. Yep, this gets in there. And I don't think I want a TT yet, or Twister yet. I guess TT's thing in the ice, too. So, I guess we just take our beats. That's fine. Now, my thinking is they probably have some sort of counterspell in hand. Yeah, I think I just wait. I think I just wait. If I'm only taking a beat down for a couple da points of damage, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, they could be running Psionic Blast, too, and that could be a card in their hand. Possibly. And that would get us pretty badly here. So, blue-red artifact stuff. It's actually a pretty sweet-looking deck. I have not seen one like this. I've seen red-based artifact decks. I guess I've seen some possibly blue-red. I mean, playing blue is just kind of a naturally good thing to do in this format. You get counter spells as far as unrestricted cards, manage range as far as restricted cards, and then all the power... Well, the power blue, right? Okie doke. So they are playing some sort of package of burn. My guess would be trikes as well. I don't know, though. Alright, I can take the beat down for a little longer, I think. Next turn, I may just have to go for it. It really depends on what they do. But I don't have a good position to balance from right here. I could also power sync them if they have to use their mana for a lot of stuff here, and then go for a time twister. I mean, the optimal is to hit time walk and be able to twister into a time walk turn. Um, or, like, sync here, hit time walk, and then, like, just go ham. Um, yep, I'll take the beats, because my life total does not really matter on this deck. I mean, I, I am playing a channel fireball deck, but I have Dark Heart of the Woods, which can gain just a crap ton of mana, or a crap ton of life, which equates to mana with channel. Well, do you have something to cast? And nothing. Okay. Well, I think right now I just keep playing lands out. This could get me burned, but at the same time, like right now, like I think it just makes sense to uh, continue to make land drops and build up for a big uh, time twister turn. Of note, I do not have red mana yet. Alright, they played out another land. Okie doke. Yep. I wonder if they're playing some number of fireballs. They could be. All right, they're going for something here. All right, they're going to try to fireball me out. And this is not going to end exceedingly well for them. Because I am going to go for the Twister now with them tapped out. It gives me a lot of range on my turn. Yeah, this is a fireball for nine. I'm going to do this. I think we actually do resolve channel here. And I think we pay the life. Okay, so we're alive.
but there's really no point to uh, to tapping our... Uh... Yeah, we had the channel mana, but unfortunately we didn't hit gas there. But we do have a lot of life. That is a true statement. Another factory. <clears throat> and we could be dead here. Seven cards is a lot. Depends on how good they drew. Alright, yep. That can get in there. Alright. Okay. No problem going to one. It's going below one. That's that can be an issue here. Okay. Velwar Stone, not a problem right now. It does probably make rainbow mana. Yeah, it makes rainbow mana now with our lands. Alrighty. Now we're open to hit what? Wheel of Fortune, probably? They probably have a counter spell, though. Be funny if they just went Armageddon. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't benefit them, per se. Actually, no, it wouldn't be a bad play, but, but we'll see what they get up to here. All right. All right. I'll take the damages. Sacrifice of Blackland here. Or I'll take six or three, rather. Alrighty. Yep, can't stop that. I'm going to try for mine. They probably have a counter spell at this point, though. Yep, they do. Yep, you got it. Okay. Okay. Yep. And yep. 
Question is, do they have another counter spell? If they have another counter spell, I think we're at almost a statistical lock here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Taiga. They have Psionic Blast. Twister. Okay. I guess I could try to burn me out here. Thing is, I think they assume some risk with this, because if I get the turn back, um, I'm not in horrendous shape just to stay alive for a while longer. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. I mean, the question becomes, can you do five damage here? And if the answer is yes, then we're, we're going to die, right? Alrighty. Four. They can pay that, I believe. Yep. If they have a bolt, they just win. Right? Okay. Well, do you have a bolt? You have a bolt, you just win the game. There's no mental misstep in this format. Alright, green. Yep. Alright, always yield. The disenchant on Dark Heart. All right, regrowth on Ancestral. Okay. Well, at this point, the cities of Brass are becoming a liability. Okay. Did you find a burn spell for three damages? If they did not, good for me. Nope, they found it. All righty. Well, that's game. Alrighty, so let's go to sideboarding. What do we think against this deck? Well, Red Elemental Blast seems fine. Flash Counter seems okay as well. Um, probably go with like a Reb. Um, Swords to Plowshares did not seem that necessary. Could bring in some number of Disenchants as well for their factories. I guess disen or, this is not bad. They have factories. It allows us to get factories. The Abyss seems kind of miserable in this matchup. I didn't see any creatures, really. Um, what else do we want to cut? Could be like a Power Sink. Eh, Power Sync's still pretty damned good. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep on playing the deck as is. Maybe, like, one stone can come out. Stones, you know, they're fine. They're just kind of filler, though. I mean, they just kind of kind of help you flesh out your mana curve, and they're good with, like, Time Twisters and whatnot. I would like to play first. Okie doke. I think I am going to keep this. This hand's not great, but this deck's not great either. Uh, but it has it has mana. It can't cast two of its spells, uh, which are the two most powerful spells. But having a restricted card in the opener that allows me to draw seven is pretty good. And I have life gain. I don't think it's horrible. Um, I would like to cast Dark Heart under um, under counter protection. I mean, if they don't have a blue mox, though, we should be good. And it's actually funny because if um. They have a stone here, too? Nope, they're just going to bolt me. Okay, got it. Alright, uh, the Lich. So if you're not familiar with the combo, the way this would have worked if I had gotten another turn is fast with fast bond in play, I'm able to play infinite lands, right? Or as many lands as I have in my deck. Um, and I can gain a lot of life that way. And with Lich in play, you can draw a lot of cards that way. Um, so you can keep on playing lands that way and gaining more life and drawing more cards. And it's, it's an engine, basically. It's an engine deck. Okay, nope. My life total doesn't really matter that much. They have, like, a, another bolt. 
Alright, they're just gonna hurl fire at me. Cool. Nope. Alrighty, and go. I wonder if they're running Serendipifreets in their list. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they just twistered here. I think I would be cool with that. Nope, nothing. All right. So they're saying they're sitting on Counterspell right now. Okay. All righty, well, Mox Emerald, go. And we'll use the Avoid Fate to protect the uh, Dark Heart. Well, it's good for me if they actually play this way because they can start throwing Burn at End Step. Alright. And go. I think I'm going to wait on that. I don't think I'm going to try to throw it at Upkeep. I'm going to wait and see if they tap for something. Alrighty. Plus, I would like to protect it with, like, Red Elemental Blast or something along those lines. Okay, we can get Lich on line, not quite yet. So we're a little little ways away from that. Okay. We have to say about this. Okay. All right, eat a rib. Okay, and I think I just wait here. I think I just wait. Alrighty. Oh, they have Shatter in their deck. I do have the Avoid Fate to kind of stop that. That's kind of why I took this line. I didn't want to go off of Avoid Fate here. And I want to have two lands to protect myself. Alright, they're going to go back into counter magic mode, I assume. Alright. I'm just going to play on a Fell War Stone here and say go. Kind of want to slow play this. Um, yes, I could cast the Lich this turn and try to go for the combo, but I feel like a lot more goes wrong there. I don't have the ability to counter a spell right now, so I could also bait it out with Brain Geyser um, on the following turn when I have a little more mana. Um, we'll see. The ideal is they just tap out for something, I get a big geyser off, and then, you know, have a Void Fade up on their turn to protect the uh, Mirror Universe from, like, a Shatter or a Crumble. Crumble would be a big one. But it kind of negates their initial plan of going in with just a bazillion Chain Lightnings. Okay. This is an Ancestral, I think I'm fine with that.
Okay. Is that card bugged? Or they click done or something? I don't know. I have cast this card before in, in old school. I don't know what happened there. And I can't fix it. I mean, I couldn't have, like, chat my lands and been like, here's the mana. I mean, the Moto would not allow you to do that, so it's, you know... I, if I could, I would. I would give them the mana. Be like, here, here's four mana. Okay. They can counterspell this if they'd like. Okay, yep. Best draw, probably Time Walk. Time Walk actually is pretty integral to this deck's operation. Okie doke. If they try to fireball me out with this, I'm going to not die. That's kind of the, the issue with this play. Because <laughs> I have Dark Heart, right? And Dark Heart can gain me 12 life right now. So they would just go to a very low life total against me, I suppose. And now I cannot counter that. Encounter a targeted effect. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. If I'm not dead, it doesn't matter, I don't think. In a minimum, this does get them out of uh, mirror universe range. That could be their thinking, is that by channeling here, they can make it so that it's not desirable for me to switch life totals. But I'm not really using it that way, right? All right.
So here's the question. Do I just go for the gusto here and try to draw into glory? Yeah, I think I do. My life total is irrelevant, right? So I might as well tap these. I mean, it's relevant in the fact they can cast a... Um, they cast a lightning bolt here, but that's fine. It'll take me down three cards, so a leech. Lightning Bolt would force me to sack a bunch of perms, but that's... I have two Cities of Brass for that, and I have, you know, a Tundra that I can tap for mana before. Do I need any of these cards? No, what I really need is a time walk right now. So, yeah, we're going to wheel. Okay, there is the walk. So I like protection for this, right? And it looks like I am going to be provided with that, so... This is how the Lich deck works. I'm trying very hard not to screw up right now. Bolt. And we'll exchange life totals here, and that is how this deck works. That is Lich Ball. <laughs> um, and I drew most of my deck. I have to be careful about that, actually. That can kill you, right? Actually, I don't know how that wins. It's probably a draw, like because you draw so many cards off of switching life totals. Um, pretty sweet game, though. I mean, I don't really care if I win or lose with this deck, because this deck's bad. Like, I'll be the first to admit this is not a good deck. This is a <laughs> pretty bad combo deck. But um, it's pretty cool at, the min at a minimum. Um, power Sync. Or do I want? Flash Counter? Uh, one rep, one flash counter, two sinks. I think that's about right. I'm just gonna resub it, guys. I'm not gonna board that much because I don't. I just don't think this this deck is just trying to do its own thing. And if it works, it works. Yeah, this hand's got to be a keeper. I think. Um. Yep. Okay. Factory. Soul ring. Cool. So they have a lot of colorless mana here. Oh, wow, that just happened. Oh, I got a free turn. That's pretty lucky. Leave up a power sink here and then try to set up a geyser for the next turn.
the old lich ball. <laughs> and I'll have to ask Barking Dog if I'm going to be able to to use this content for the site because I I, I really think this is a sweet deck. Like I think this deck is just cool. Uh, I hope he didn't do the newly controlled one. No, he didn't. Okay, good, good, good. If you're a newer Moto player, it's the back one. It's always the back one. Uh, do I care about their life total? Not really. I mean, I could try to fireball them out in this game. That could be a thing. Oops, not that one. Don't have Crumble in the deck. Alright, STP. Okay, Diamond, Lotus. I'm going to wait now that Lotus is in play. I think my deck's going to get better with time. Um, or it's going to, it's going to, I mean, they're trying to burn me out, right? So I think over time my deck will gain more utility, right? Like, it's it's not a good deck, but it is doing something fundamentally powerful. Um, despite how janky it is. Okay. My hope is here to eat up a Lotus, right? Like, the best thing that could happen for me is they try to counter this. Okay. Going for four here. This will force them to sack the Lotus. Yep, they're going to sack it. They're not going to play around Reb. That's fine, though. Didn't figure they would. Get a two for one out of the, the brain geyser at a minimum. Nope. I do not think it's worth time walking right now. I think I wait on that. Time walk is kind of positional for this deck. I guess it could it should be used that way in most decks. And I have a counter spell, so I can sit back on that. If something really bad happens, I can counter because I do have mana advantage right now, correct? Yeah, I do. And I'm just making land drops, that's fine. <laughs> the ability to cast this Lich is pretty dubious right now, but we're running three dark rituals, so there is that. Alright. Alrighty. Run a lot of lands in this deck, so we could just land down. I mean, that could be a thing. We could just flood. Um, where are we at right now as far as lands? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to say okay to that, actually. Or should I? Yeah, okay. I have mana advantage. I feel like that's going to generally benefit me. Yeah, with this draw. Now, if they try to play anything right now, I can just power sync them, right? Okay, Loa. I mean, it stinks to lose the uh, time walk. This only put them down to one card, but I think it's still good.
And if they do that, it'll put them to zero cards. All right, what did you rip? Hopefully not a fireball. <laughs> All right, something. All right, a stone. All righty, so we know we're going to clear right now, right? So we dropped a seven. Might as well. Do I want to DT this turn? And if so, for what? Certainly not Twister. I think what I... Mm, I think I do DT this turn. And I think of all things, it's, is it flash counter? It's probably... I'm out of counter spells, right? Recall? Recall seems pretty good. Okay, go. And don't rip a fireball. <laughs> Am I dead to fireball? That's a lot of mana. Alright, I'm gonna draw here. And I think we got him here. I think we got him. Boom. All right. Witch ball. <laughs> Down to three cards. It's <laughs> so great. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed Lich's Ball. This deck is hilarious. It's not good. Don't get me wrong. But, like, old school is about brewing. It's about fun. It's about doing cool, interesting stuff that you haven't seen before. And, like, you know, I won't lie. I started off with, like, a version of the deck in... It's just the best deck. I mean, like, it's, it's so much better than everything else. Like, if you play it well, and, you know, you have a, the best build of it for a given day. Um, Blue-Red's really good, too, but, like, I think the deck is probably just the best. Um, there's decks that beat it, don't get me wrong, but they lose to a lot of other stuff. Uh, maybe to include Lich's Ball, I don't know. But, uh, very, very sweet game. I appreciate it, Barking Dog. I hope you had a good time, too, watching my jank win <laughs> this this game. Somehow, like, it miraculously got there. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and enjoy!